We have seen that the limit of a difference quotient can be interpreted as a rate of the change, as a velocity, or as the slope of tangent line. In addition, this limit provides solution to, to the two basic problems stated at the beginning of this section. We are now ready to introduce some terms that refer to that limit. To follow customer production sorry, practice, we use x in place of a and think of the difference quotient. Quotient is quotient. As a function of h. Okay? If x is constant, you can consider this as a constant of the h. With x held fixed as h tends to 0. So this allows us to find a single general limit instead of finding many individual limits. Okay? So limit when h going to 0, uh, if this exists, it is called a derivative of the f f prime of x so this is if the limit exists if the limit okay so this is definition of the derivative so this is derivative of f at x okay and which is noted f prime so uh, this uh, notation is read f prime of x so if f prime x exists for each x in the open interval a b this is the important so let's write if f prime x exists for each x in the open interval or all real number interval a b then f is say to be differentiable differentiable over interval open interval a b if this is differentiable everywhere it is just say it's just say this is differentiable okay the process of finding the derivative of a function is called the differentiation uh, the derivative of a function is obtained by differentiating the function and let's summarize this uh, section The derivative of a function f is a new function, which is f prime. Okay, so uh, we have a function f by differentiating. You obtain f prime x. If you from f of x, the domain of f prime is a subset of the domain of the f. Okay, the domain of the f prime is a subset of the domain of the f. The derivative has various applications and interpretations including the following. First, what we learn, slope of the tangent line. Slope of the tangent line. For each x in the domain of f prime, f prime x is the slope of the line tangent to the graph of f at the point x comma f of x. And uh, second uh, interpretation, instantaneous rate of the change. Uh, for each x in the domain of f prime again, f prime x is the instantaneous rate of the change of the y, which equals f of x with respect to x. And if 
uh, f of x is the position function, uh, this instantaneous rate of the change can be interpreted as a velocity. So if f of x is a position of the some moving object at time uh, x, when uh, then uh, v equals f prime x is the velocity of the object object at that time. Okay. So sometimes or when uh, this limit does not exist. Okay. Or uh, so let's talk about the non-existence. non-existence of the derivative. The existence of a derivative at x equals 0 depends on the existence of the limit. Which limit? That limit. Okay, if this limit exists, derivative exists. Uh, that is the existence of the, the at the point A. Instead of text, you can write there, okay, if you discuss the derivative at the point uh, A. So if the limit does not exist at x equal a, we say the function f is non-differentiable. So if uh, f prime a, of course we cannot say f prime a if limit does not exist, so let's just write the limit. Limit h goes 0, f of a plus h minus f of a over h uh, does not exist so at the point x equal a. Uh, does not exist, then f is non-differentiable. Non-differentiable, okay, let's write. Non-differentiable at x equal a. Or simply we say f prime a does not exist. f prime a does not exist. So, when this limit does not exist, maybe I can uh, show you some geometrical aspects for this situation. For example, your function uh, is not continuous and jumping some points. For example, like this one and here it continues like this one. So in this case, there is no uh, tangent line. Okay? It is not continuous, so it is not differentiable. Uh, for another example, so let's say this is non-differentiable where at the point A. Uh, if graph has some sharpness, sharp corner, again it's not differentiable. For example, like this one, the, there's a sharpness here. So again, this is not differentiable. This is non-differentiable at x equals A. Uh, and if there's a vertical tangent, uh, that means Limit goes to infinity or minus infinity. So again, uh, but in this, this is not the example in my opinion. Uh, here, let's change the right side because here it, limit can be infinity. So con concavity change. So let's look this one. Okay. So for that one, limit goes to in in infinity. So for example, from the x cube, you know that. So consider the x cube graph like this one. So here we have the uh, vertical tangent line at the point zero, but uh, okay, let's consider for the any point A. So by carrying the x cube function, so for example here, again okay, it's not a good idea in my opinion. somewhere here so here we have a vertical tangent line so at the point a here not differentiable okay it is non -differ f is non differentiable at x equals a and in other case uh, like this one sharp corner again but here the limit is infinity or minus infinity here it is minus infinity according to this graph. So uh, again, we have a vertical uh, tangent, so it is non differentiable. Actually, maybe we can emphasize here limit 
f of x plus h minus f, f of h a plus h minus f of a over h is plus infinity. Here also plus infinity. But for some case it can be negative infinity. Sorry, this is negative infinity. This, this is nice. Negative infinity from right hand side, positive infinity. Actually, this limit does not exist. Okay, from left side, positive infinity. From right side, negative infinity. Uh, and we can give another example. For the non-existence. Again, the function is discontinuous. At the point i goes to infinity. And there is a vertical asymptote here a and from right side it again goes to infinity for example so this is uh, there is a vertical asymptote so here function is not differentiable okay, again non-differentiable at x equals a